See, it's like this. It's like, how far are you willing to go to really, I guess, tap into that inner part, that inner chamber, that inner aspect of your reality? Like, what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to do? How far are you willing to go? I mean, for me, it was like, I knew I got to a point where I realized when I was in my 20s, like, I'm the type of person that's supposed to be doing some stuff that really I'm not supposed to be doing according to modern society. And that's what started it and sparked it for me. I mean, it didn't start out as the occult. It started out, you know, really even as a teenager, for real. It started out as, you know, a lot of dark stuff like gang banging and different things like that. But it eventually elevated and eventually progressed into learning about the occult and learning about art and learning about entrepreneurship and things of that nature. So it eventually unfolded. You know, this energy or this spirit that I was experiencing. But it started out as kind of being dark. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, because it was dark because this it was unknown. It was an unknown variable. And that's what I want to kind of talk about here real briefly today. About this unknown variable in all of our beings. See, all of us, we have this unknown part. This part, this X factor part of us. That society knows nothing about. It's a part of our, it's in our DNA. It's called junk DNA. And it's a part of us that is uncalculatable, unknowable, unpredictable. And that's the part of you that you're going to have to tap into and get in tune with if you're really true about saying that you're a star seed or you're a part of the occult or, you know, you're a part of this movement or whatever the case may be. Because people, I've been getting questions and I want to like really define what is a star seed. Because everybody like, what's a star seed? You keep saying the star seed movement and shout out to the star seed. And I'm going to kick it to you just like this, plain and simple. A star seed is one who essentially is a, is a star in his or her own right. It's not how, about how big of a star you are or how small of a star, but you shine in some type of way. You radiate something unique and different about yourself in some kind of way. You are not, uh, I guess, the type of person that's defined or the type of person that you know, whatever you do or whatever you're known for is based upon what a million other people are known for. So, for instance, I'm not saying you can't be a star C and work in regular Matrix and work in corporate America because I'm not trying to not people and stop people from being in corporate America. What I'm saying is this, though. For instance, you really it's hard to really say you're a star C if you just get up and go to work every day. And you work as a janitor and you come home and you sit around and watch YouTube videos and eat ice cream and sit around and just do the normal shit. Like you're nothing is different about your life. Nothing is fabulous about your life. It's hard to say that you're a star seed doing this. Like what risk have you really taken to get to the point of really being able to show some unique attributes about yourself in life? Now, <clears throat> a star seed does go into like when you were born. And things of that nature. Um, you have people that were born, say for instance, in the 70s and 60s. <clears throat> Generally, these are not star seeds. <clears throat> these are people that are that are essentially not a part of the star seed movement. This is what it is. These are people that are pretty much essentially like flower children and things of that nature. Um, baby boomers even. And it's not to say that they're not a star seed, but the star seeds represent a group of people that reincarnated back and they came back to this plane essentially from another higher dimension or another higher reality. And they came back to this plane to re or to play out higher levels of consciousness, higher levels of science, higher, higher levels of technology. So the star seeds kind of mark like the beginning of the technological movement. A lot of things are going to happen in the star seed <clears throat> generation or during our time as our time of, on walking this planet. A lot of things we're going to experience. We're going to experience these things that are going to be different. It's going to be a lot of different stuff happening on, a, on the planet. Um, there's going to be like a lot of experiences and things that are unexplainable or unknowable. Like a lot of weather pattern changes. Um, just a lot of unpredictable things. Like even if you look at the outcome, say for instance, of this of this election. And I'm not trying to get too political, but I'm just using this for an example. Nobody really saw this coming. Nobody really saw the outcome coming and nobody really knows where it's gonna lead to. 
we we've never had in our day and time since I've been on this planet somebody that was used to be a billionaire or that still is a billionaire that owns a bunch of businesses and now they're the president. That's different. That's Starcy type shit. And you see that you know, this guy is is definitely older. This is an older guy. You gotta think about it. Like he's in his what sixties, probably even seventies. But that's still Starcy type of shit. So he would be kind of like a part of the Starcy movement in a way because. He's representing, he's a part of the whole stage. See, what I'm saying is about the star sea thing is like the stage is shifting because we are moving into the age of Aquarius. So we are, the world stage is changing. The scope is changing. <clears throat> it's no longer about the Illuminati and Christianity and, you know, that's the dominant thing. And, you know, in order for you to be a good noble person in society you have to be a christian and all of that that's going out you know you see because we got like people that are atheists and people that have many different beliefs on the planet and they're predominant people or there are people that upfront people that stick out here on this plane so that's what kind of like being a star seed is it's about demonstrating the dark arts or the darker aspect of your being and some people in order for you to do that it might get, I mean, I've been through some shit, I'm not gonna lie, like, it's not, this ain't, everything ain't all good, like, this for, this is G shit, like, this is for the queens, like, for the women out there, this is queen shit, like, this ain't little girl shit, trying to, you know, be, demonstrate this whole star seed movement, like, you gotta be, like, most a bad bitch type shit, you know, a lot of times to even tap into this darker aspect of yourself, and it's not about going out and hurting people or anything like that, but it's like, you have to know yourself. What are you, what were you put here to do? What are you capable of? That's what it comes down to. Like what, see people like you, you really don't know the dark aspect of yourself. You haven't really defined it. So it's like, what are you capable of doing on a dark level? Like what, are, what is your, how far will you go to, I guess, experience this dark aspect of yourself? Because that's really the left-hand path. Like, how selfish are you? How far are you willing to go to help somebody? It's a light aspect to it, too. How far are you willing to go to sacrifice to change the, change the world? What are you willing to sacrifice to do that? So you have, And then when you start to go into those depths of yourself and experience those different energies, you become very creative. So then you can begin to write your story. See, a star seed writes his or her story. Your story is like a biography, right? So, when you're on Twitter, this is going to say everything I teach on the Astro Pyramid, you know, and all of that. This is just a motivational video, pretty much. But it's like when you're on Twitter and you're on Facebook and all of that, don't be on there just fucking around. If you're a star seed and just poking around, you got to write your story. You And you're not going to have anything to write about, essentially. If you're not do, if you don't know shit about yourself, and you haven't really experienced anything in this body, you've been walking on this earth for fifty years, and you ain't did nothing but went up. You ain't even never left your city, for one thing. You got people out here like this, never left your city, got plenty of money, and you ain't doing nothing but just walking around, going back and forth to work or getting in this car, going up and down the same street, same road, same expressway, doing the same shit every day, and you wonder why you get the same results. That's real insanity. So they try to say, like, you know, Ron Potep's crazy because you done see me do a lot of shit. A lot of different, you done see me on a lot of different levels. Like, I mean, I'll be getting into all my dark aspect of myself. And they try to say I'm crazy, but really crazy or insane is somebody that does the same shit. One thing you can say about myself and, and, and other people in the Sakata is that we go to the depths of ourselves and we experience many different changes and many different cycles. In order to paint this this artistic picture, or in order to show this dark side, so that we can get in tune, and this is gonna be the last part of this video, and I'm gonna shut down about being a star seed, so we can get into what's called our inner power. See, all of you have powers that cannot be explained by society. What do I mean by that? Some of you may be psychic. Some of you may be able to see through walls. Some of you may be able to. I'm serious. Like, this is you, everybody. You are a superhero. And I'm so serious about this. Some of you may be able to dream about the, the next day and play it out. You are a superhero. But the thing is, is that you haven't really had the time to be 
able to get in tune with your your inner power because of the fact that you haven't done anything radical or crazy to experience anything. You haven't been up under circumstances that were so excruciating or pain that was so excruciating that it, it you had no other recourse but to experience the darker or but to demonstrate, not just experience, but to demonstrate the darker superpower aspect of your being. You're never going to get in tune with your inner hero or your inner shero or your superpower if you are kind of like stuck in the same mold of thinking all the time if you're doing the same thing so you have an inner gift you may be able to read minds you may be able to it could be anything you may be a business genius you see and that's your art that's what you're supposed to be as a star seed that's what you're supposed to be demonstrating so a star seed what makes us different is is that yeah you can say a basketball player is a star seed or a football player could be a, considered a star seed but they might not be like they may just have a gift for playing ball or something and just happened to get discovered and now they playing ball or whatever. But a star seed is somebody that's like a mental genius. Like, like take for instance King James. Like King James, he's a star seed because he don't just play ball. See, King James don't just play ball. King James is a like a guru, a basketball guru. Like he makes teams. He comes to teams that shitty in tournaments to like championship teams. He's proven that. Shout out to all my Ohio niggas, Cavs, and all the champions for this year. But anyway, I'll get involved in the sports. It's just, you know, I'm, I, don't, I don't want you guys to get out. I know everybody, yeah, you're talking about the Cavs. I don't like them. And this and that. And they name another team and stuff. I don't get caught up into that. I'm just, you know, being happy for my home, Sam, my homeland. That's all. So, um, anyway. So, yeah, he's taking teams and making them better, you know what I'm saying, he's a star seed like Dwayne Wade, coming to Chicago, making Chicago better, you know what I'm saying, so that's a star seed, and then he's not only doing it, he off on the court, he's doing it off the court, so it's not a job for him, he's just like, we're gonna go play basketball, then go home and chill, he's active in the media, you know, he's doing, that's a star seed, trying to bring out your own shoes, you're a guru, you never stop, on some hustler shit, like that's, if you ain't, if you don't feel like that about what you do every day, it's something wrong with what you do every day. If you just, and then, you know what I'm saying, you can't even really say that you have been initiated into any occult, anything, if you're just walking around acting like the way a normal people act. Like, if you want to be in a crowd and be on the sideline and do that, that's not the Star Seed movement, you're just a watcher. And that's fine if that's what you feel like your life purpose is. But some of us want to be on the stage, but it's like you haven't took any kind of a risk to get there. Like, you got to be a hard to be a backpacker. Shout out to all my backpackers out there. You got to be hard to be a backpacker. It ain't just the D boys that's hard. You know what I'm saying? You gotta survive pain, excruciating pain to make it through this shit. And make it through some of these things that I experienced. You gotta be able to really endure some shit and see some shit and still be able to rise to the top. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day and still be able to now when I say rise to the top, it's not about how popular you are. I'm just saying be able to still rise to the occasion of demonstrating your art and doing your art in any circumstances. Any circumstances. Cause I mean I go through highs and lows in my art. You know what I'm saying? And I just keep doing I never stop and I never settle. I don't let nobody define me. I don't let my family divide, define me, old friends or anything like that. Like I've been saying, a lot of my old friends, shout out to them. A lot of my old friends are cool, though, but I'm just saying, even if they weren't, I'm not going to let anything define me. I'm just going to keep doing me. There's a lot of other molds and backgrounds and places and, that I want to show you and, and be. And just, you know, one day I'm going to do a video on top of the Giza pyramids. Watch, it's going to happen. You're going to see that on this channel. I'm going to show you every level, every darker, lighter aspect of myself and every darker aspect of myself. So, you know, as you can see right now, we're chilling in another part of uh, our studio. Um, but this is not over in the Astro Pyramid. Like you said, I've been showing you the Astro Pyramid or whatever. So, but now we're we chilling on a different part or whatever. Like we're in a different area or different, you know, territory because I'm working on another project trying to do something a little bit different. <clears throat> working on some business stuff. And as you can see, I've been, um, Kind of little, um, I'm not under the weather, but throat's kind of clogged up because um, did like 56 nights, man, in the, in, the in this astral pyramid, the physical part of it, man. Like, did like 56, over 56 nights. Seriously, like over 60 days, um, like nine weeks, just straight up chilling in like a chamber, in this chamber, um, you know, no, straight up in nature. So it's been a lot. Um, and right now we're just taking intermission and we're going right back to it. Going right back to it. So that's what I'm on. That's what I mean. Like you got to be able to like 
live like that. Like, I'm trying to build a pyramid. I'm trying to build something from scratch. You know, like, I'm trying to use land and land, you know, and, and be able to build something on it. And it's going to take me to sacrifice something if I want to live like that. I want to be able to grow my food and live off the land so I don't have to go to the grocery store all the time. It's going to take me to sacrifice some things and work with groups of people if I want to live like that. And that's what I mean. Like, that means I have to be unique and be different. I'm not the type of person where I just want to go and protest like, you know, these cats, they do this Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. And I'm not knocking that. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not the type of person where I want to go complain about police shootings. Because you got this police shooting stuff that happened here in my local town where this Ray Tenzin guy shot this uh, cat. This police officer shot this cat and everybody like, he need to get the death penalty, he need to die because he killed this cat. And I'm not saying he do or don't, but it's like, what are you willing to really do about it? Going to protest and asking people for stuff don't mean anything. Maybe you should police your own communities. When they pulling people over, we should have a police force there set up. Just like how the Panthers have. Shout out to the Panthers where we watch every single police stop because they're peace officers. That's what they are. That's what the police are. So at the end of the day, if you want to see change in that, Instead of being radical and even going and fighting them and tearing up stores and they were talking about rioting and stuff. Instead of rioting, why not police? Why not have somebody on the community, in every strip, every street on the community, every time you see somebody pulled over, somebody needs to be next to that car making sure and filming it and making sure that that police stop goes normal. That's a part of your right, and filming the police stop. Not, not just filming it from the police car, from the squad car. You need to be filming it, even if you're across the street. They can't stop you from doing that. So that's what I'm saying. That's a star scene. That's a good example right there. That's a good example. So it starts, it's many levels to it. It's like, it ain't just about being on TV or being some rapper. There are rappers that are starseeds. Don't get me wrong. Like Lil Wayne and different people. Of course, the heat starseed, you know, different people. But it's about, you know, there's gangsters that are starseeds. Got to keep it real. So it's about tapping into the, the inner core, the inner chamber, or the darker part or the darker aspect of yourself. And being able to tap into that. So that you can demonstrate and so that you can show your light, show your truth, show your, to make, bring light on, not just to show your light, but to bring light on the darker aspect of yourself or your superpower or whatever you were put here to do. You know, like I was just listening to somebody and they were saying their superpower is the fact that they don't have to sleep. They can go hard for, 20, for 72, you know what I'm saying, 72 hours or six, seven days straight with no sleep. That's a superpower. So it's like, what are you building during that time? You need to be building during that time. If you could get a power, you don't have to go to sleep. Or some people had a power to be able to, you know what I'm saying, like, 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 like myself, they could stay in nature for long periods of time and be okay. That's a superpower. What are you going to build? What are you going to do within the, that? So that's what really being a star seed is about. It's just like, how far are you willing to go to shine? At the end of the day, we got all the, and then the, being in the age of Aquarius, you can't do nothing but really shine. We got the technology. We got all the social media networks and outlets. I mean, we got Twitter. We got Facebook and all of that. So it's like, it's no excuse, really, if you're really trying to, you can really produce your own self, produce your own movement, and it can be unique to who you are as a person. I mean, it's, it's it really doesn't stop. You may be good when you say you're good with women or whatever, and, you know, you may have three, four baby mamas and y'all got agreements and y'all working together. Well, why don't you show that in a reality show? Why don't you turn it into a reality show? Your lifestyle as a, not really as a player, but your lifestyle as a person that is dealing with more than one woman or in a scenario like that. Because you guys got these conscious cats that's so rico suave. So it's like, it's that part of yourself. Like, learn how to turn that shit into a business, man. Stop working for these people that you you hate going to work. Because, I mean, I'm getting tired of I go in these restaurants, and, I mean, I, my money comes hard, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't, you know, you can, we ain't rich nowhere near it because we got a lot of stuff to invest in, and it's like my money comes hard, right? And so I've been there chilling, and I go to these restaurants, and I'm getting tired of this, man. Like, that's what I'm saying this now on video. Like, I go to these restaurants, and they giving me horrible customer service and people mad and shit. Cause they there and they're mad and they know some of them may know who I am or what I do and they're like mad deep down inside because it's like you ain't gotta work like me and I gotta go work every day and you just out here making these videos talking about anything and it doesn't even mean anything this guy needs to shut up and all this is like you are just angry at yourself because you haven't tapped into the inner part of yourself yet and you're scared to show yourself like that and it's like you're bringing this anger to work and putting this shit in my food if I'm going to eat at these places or 
you putting this shit in, you know what I'm saying, in the energy when you're trying to help me if I'm going to buy some clothes or some, or some shoes or some shit like that and you, or a coat or something, and you putting this in negative energy out there because you hate what you do. You hate yourself, and that's not a star seed. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you are a reincarnated Atlantean or whatever the case may be, or you are some messiah seed. You're not demonstrating it. You're not in a situation where you're playing out your life script, your higher life script, or your darker life script is what it is. Then you can't claim being a star seed. At the end of the day, I'm just going to keep it all the way real with you. So, I mean... It's a lot I'm going to talk about in the future. Um, a lot of people are wondering what's going on with now. They ask questions about what's going on with the site. And I'm going to go into that. I'm not going to say too much here, but the, everything is okay with the site. See, we're moving on. And Star Seeds is showing that it's just a lot to this whole movement. It's a lot to this whole movement showing that you can influence the world psychically. You know, we got people, we influence politicians psychically. We make psychic influences on the world it's not always about getting on tv and protesting and marching to influence the world so it's a lot with this star seat movement um i thank you guys for listening and i thank you guys for watching um it's been you know definitely an adventure these past 60 days thank the people that's you know been supporting me and things of that nature uh people that's been helping me out it's been exciting man like got a lot of more exciting things planned for this particular channel but that's the brief message man Never, never settle with mediocrity when it comes to your life blueprint, your life script, or your life stage. Always go the extra mile. Always go the extra length. Um, always demonstrate or to always look for the darkness, the darker aspect of yourself. And I want to make this point very clear because it's not in light that plants grow. Plants grow in a state of dormancy. I've always talked this to people. In a state of darkness. And you are like a plant. You are like a flower. As a star seed. That's why it's called a star seed. So seeds germinate at night. The sun, they take in their nutrients in the light. In the daytime. But they germinate at night. It's only when you go through your dark shit. And your darkest aspect of yourself. It's only when you do that. That you're going to blossom. That you're going to sprout. That you're going to grow into something beautiful, something magnetic. So, just wanted to say that. Um, don't be afraid of the darker aspect of yourself. Embrace it. Figure out what it is. The, the, don't be afraid of the demons or whatever. They don't use any fear. Find out what they are and just demonstrate them as a star seed. This is what a star seed does. Um, you have to know about yourself. Get into numerology as a star seed. Because, I mean, there's ways you have to define yourself. As a star seed, so get into numerology, get into astrology, get into uh, some form of cosmology, uh, get into the Kabbalah, learn as much about yourself as you can, so that when you when it comes time to demonstrate this whole star seed thing, to demonstrate this higher aspect of yourself, you'll know more, you'll know better, you'll know as much about yourself as possible. So, um, and then from there. Don't be afraid to show the world. Lastly, what you don't need, you know who you are as a dark, the darker aspect of yourself. You've done all the darker work and the darker rituals. Don't be afraid to show this aspect or to show this to the world, whether it's on camera, whether it's on Twitter. Share your art. That's the art aspect of you. Whatever your superpower is, that's your art. And I'm serious. I'm not just up here rambling. I'm really trying to motivate the star seeds here so we can step this thing up. Whatever it is that. You are you feel like you're gifted in whatever you don't care if it's making clothes or whatever it is that's your art that's your superpower and you have to show that you have the you have the right you have the obligation actually universally to show that art the artistic aspect of yourself we are in the age of Aquarius the age of art and you have to show that part of yourself and if those that don't will become negative and dissatisfied it's not just about helping people and all of that you're going to get a lot of chi from demonstrating these arts that you have and these gifts that you have and helping people so you have to show that whatever it is like for me it was astrology and then having the gift of being able to speak to people and using my words to penetrate in people and to spark change in people see that's what my gifts are but for you it may be something different you may have the gift of just being able to make clothes that make people just think or to make t-shirts or buttons or just something i respect all of that but at the end of the day, whatever your art is, you got to demonstrate it. You got to play it out. It's up to you.
So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this video down. Uh, this brief video, gotta go ahead and get up out of here and make some other moves as usual. I thank you guys for listening and watching to my motivational speech, and I will be doing a video soon on what's going on with the website and behind the scenes with 13signastrology.com. So I thank you guys for listening. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, I'm Ron Potuck L, and until we meet again, I'll leave you in peace.